Good morning. Today we're going to talk about crypto.com tech support or customer service, however you want to look at it, and mystery bank transfers and my interesting experience dealing with these things. So a little background. Uh, let's just say last Friday, I received an email from crypto.com saying that my bank transfer had completed and it was for $25. And I thought to myself, I don't remember doing a bank transfer. This is bizarre. So, you know, I looked into my crypto.com app to see if there was, you know, $25 that had shown up recently, you know, that day. And uh, no, it wasn't on my, it wasn't in my fiat wallet. It wasn't on my uh, crypto.com visa card and my, that wallet, it just wasn't there. And I'm thinking, is this some kind of phishing scam? What is going on? So I look at the email, I examine it a little more closely, and yeah, it is from a legit crypto.com email address. Uh, I tested this. Also, it had the correct anti-phishing code in there that I had specified so that I would know that this was not a fraudulent message. So either somebody was doing a really great job of emulating what a legitimate message would look like, or this was really from crypto.com. And again, head scratcher, what is going on here? And you know, is it is it just sort of a, sort of a glitch in the system? Is there twenty five dollars? It's just gone poof. And that's another thing. You know, I looked I looked in my my recent bank transfers. There wasn't twenty five dollars that had been transferred then, and it was just it was just really strange. So. I contacted tech support, and if you are in a location where the Crypto.com app is all that you have access to, that means you access them through the app, and you do this via uh, text messages, via chat. Anyway, Friday, I'm I'm chatting with this person, and you know it, it's weird. It has like a like a menu, like when you do phone support, you know, click on these things, what language you want, what. Um, what category this falls under before you get to even the opportunity to talk to a person. And it's it's not like they're going to get to you right away. Sometimes you can just wait. It'll say, you know, your message has been sent, but it hasn't been seen. And then it'll say that it's been seen. And then you wait for a reply. And it can be anywhere from, you know, instantaneous to five minutes, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, whatever, in between responses when you're doing this back and forth support. And so with that being said, you know, I, I explained to them what the situation was. Uh, I wanted to get to the bottom of this mystery. You know, do I need to put some extra security measures into place on my account? What, what do we need to do? And so it comes to a point where the tech support person said to me, okay, I need to verify you now. So what you need to do, what, what they wanted me to do was to write my name, my first and last name on a piece of paper the current date and this, you know, random code, the series of, you know, letters and numbers, uppercase, lowercase letters and whatnot, and then take a selfie where they can see my face and my upper torso and this piece of paper with these things written on it. I thought, okay, this is weird, but whatever. And of course, because of the back and forth that had happened, you know, I, I didn't even see that message until like, you know, days later. As I, I just thought, all right, well, there haven't been any other weird messages coming through. So, you know, it's whatever. I'll get around to it. So anyway, Monday rolls around and I get another email and also a push notification on my phone saying your bank transfer has been received. And this time is for $20. And like, OK, it happened again. I, I really need to talk to somebody at support. So, again, go through this chat process. And, you know, I begin it by going, okay, here's a screenshot of this, a screenshot of that. Here's the, here's the push notification. Here's the email. Here's what the, the email address it was from. Here's my situation. And I went ahead and took the information they specified before, made the piece of paper, took the selfie, and sent that as well. And I get another person. Well, we have this back and forth. It takes, you know, 30 minutes, you know, with, with time in between. And it gets to a certain point and they go, okay, well, uh, that code isn't good anymore. So we need you to take another picture with this other code now. And I'm like, that's ridiculous. I'm still me and I'm right here talking to you, but whatever. 
So again, I will break out another piece of paper, I get a Sharpie, write my name, write the current date, and I write this new code, take the picture, I send it to them, and I said, okay, I'm still me, what, what do we do next? And so this person, they, 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 they say, all right, uh, I'm gonna look up your account, I'm gonna talk to some other people, and I'll get back to you. And yeah, so I wait again. And eventually I get a response, and ready for this? I had used instant deposit twice in the last week and a half. So for those of you that aren't, aren't familiar with it, the instant deposit feature versus doing a, a, an ACH transfer, transfer or a wire transfer to crypto.com, it's kind of like in, in Coinbase or some of these other exchanges where, okay, you're able to take this money and instantly use it to purchase crypto, but your, your, your crypto and your funds that are left over from the transfer are then basically locked in place for approximately seven days. And that's gonna be generally seven business days. So if there's weekends and holidays and things of that sort, expect it to take a little longer. So it's really frustrating with this because sometimes you'll buy a certain amount of uh, crypto with it and you'll have like a penny left over or you know nine cents and it'll just be sitting there and you're thinking man at least maybe i can use this 10 cents or or one penny and i can top up my my debit card with it but no even if you try to do that it'll tell you sorry transaction failed you have to wait until the seven days is up so what had basically happened was I, I had done this to purchase um, Crow, C-R-O, Kronos, and it was letting me know basically that the seven days were up. And I was like, well, you know, it's like your, your bank transfer has been received. Well, okay, well, I thought it was received already because I had it and I used it in this, this multi-step process. But yeah, that's that's the bottom line there. So be aware that if you do <laughs> the instant transfer with, with crypto.com, that, that's what's going to happen. As well as, you know, if you do an ACH, you know, you, you, you implement it, you, you initiate it for whatever dollar value you want. And then when it processes and you actually get the currency in your wallet, that's when, you know, it says that your transfer has been received. So it's kind of backwards from that or from doing a wire transfer. So, yeah, I guess the other big takeaway from this is trust it when they say when you will, when you receive a legitimate message, if it has your anti phishing code, just, just trust it. And if it's, you know, if you look at log in your account and nothing is really amiss, you don't have funds missing, crypto hasn't gone poof, just don't sweat it much. I, I guess that's the moral of this story. All right, that's it. Um, I hope you don't have uh, any crazy tech support stories with crypto.com or any other uh, platforms but you know they're they're there and they're helpful it might not be the most efficient way you know it might not be instant gratification and satisfaction and instantly resolving your issues but if you're willing to work through it with them and tell them what they need to know and uh, have a great deal of patience they, they've got you covered all right until next time